What's up guys? Welcome back to Define Reptiles. Today, unfortunately, uh, we, we have an issue and so I thought, you know, might as well make a good video about it because there have been so many questions about this on so many uh, platforms and things and, and groups across Facebook and even on Instagram. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do and what I have done for probably about 20 years. Steve Irwin taught me and I'm gonna show y'all right now. I brought my number one helper here today. So the issue is, is that we went to feed them and unfortunately they had mites. Wasn't a, a, a too big of a deal at the moment, but however, they can become an issue. So we checked their enclosure, which was the first thing we did because we weren't sure where it'd come from. And on their hide box and their water dish, uh, there were mites on it. I'm not gonna show you all of that, but I will tell you, you have to get everything out of their enclosure scrub it soak it soap it clean it uh rinse it the same thing with the aquarium get rid of all the substrate new substrate new everything has to go back in but i wanted to go ahead and at least tell you that guys but right now who do you want uh, all right there's scarlet i'm gonna take these guys over here and i'll show you a simple easy remedy that you're gonna have in your house to go ahead and get rid of these guys olive oil <laughs> that is it tricky thing about it is is that it will get on there and what it does is it suffocates everything these mice can get under their scales uh things that you'll never even see are there so what this olive oil will do is it'll coat them you leave it for about a minute or two uh and it'll just kill everything that gets under their scales yes there are a lot of things you can buy uh with the mite removers and, and reptiles stuff like that you can uh, I've seen a million things across these groups. There are a lot of things you can try. I'm just telling you what I've always done and it's just something that's been quick, easy, very efficient, and I've never had an issue with my snakes. Literally, all I do, will you hold Thor for one second? Oh, good job, my dude. So I put a little bit right here in my hand. Whoop. Oh, oh, here, let me get Thor. And literally just coat it. Coat him, coat him all down. I'll come back and get his head last, but I can tell I get right up to it. And let's see. And that's it. Literally just coat this snake with this olive oil all down through the tail. And then I go backwards. I like to go backwards just because it will... Um, get uh, uh, backwards under these scales uh, going in the other direction. And I don't see any on my hands, which is a good sign, which means I didn't have a severe problem. So whatever was the issue, we have caught it early. And then I do get his head. Remember they're very sensitive on their heads. Whoop, there we go, there we go. Now, uh, the danger part of, uh, of it is, is you don't wanna leave it on there extra long. Uh, because then it can do a little damage like it's saying it's suffocating so it'll suffocate the scales uh, on your snake and it could do a little bit of damage but you know just a few minutes here and there let him get soaked olive oil isn't going to hurt him and then into the quarantine water i like to put him in some water it doesn't quite get it off of him completely but it'll start to to soak and kill everything in him a lot of times you'll do this and uh as you're literally rubbing them through your hands i mean it, I, i've had it it happens with me uh you know the great thing is that i do love to bring my snakes outside um and you know it, it does it gives me a time to to check them look them over and that's honestly when we found the mites uh, i have gone through every one of my reptiles in that room uh their substrates hide boxes them themselves there aren't any more uh, as far as in the reptile room goes just these two had some in there and obviously in their enclosure get her a good lather Woo! Just like that and then i'll put her in there with him show them i'll probably let them sit like this two three minutes uh i'll get them out use a towel which i'll show you uh just to get the rest of that olive oil off of them and then back into their enclosure and to be honest they'll be uh, as good as new and i'm telling you it's just that easy all right, so it's been eh, about four or five minutes in the water. Uh, <laughs> they're holding on. It'd be good for her anyway to be out here. She's about to shed. And then we literally just whoop, take a towel and just dry them off. That's it. 
that is it, guys. Gosh, they're so beautiful. Yes, you are. She's like, I don't like all this stuff all over me. And it'll eventually just come right off. So I will scrub them. She is all about it at the moment. I'll put you right there. Oh, got it in the water. Pull out my dude Thor. Give him a nice scrub. We've already put all the new substrate, uh, all the clean. Um, again, scrub, 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 scrub. These um, enclosures, anything you have in there, change it out, scrub it, change the substrate. Uh, these mites will literally just live in that. So, and then keep them away from your other reptiles, for sure. They go into quarantine. They're on a 14 day quarantine because believe me, what you do not want is mites getting through your tile reptile room. Uh, that would be a, a, a nightmare to get rid of. And snakes are usually pretty easy because all you gotta do is let them do their own thing. Just like that. And for me, my girl Scarlet, my boy Thor, uh, mite free, healthy, having some fun. Either way, they got outside, got some water, got some sunlight, um, and they're gonna get a good meal. And now they're clean, and uh, but they're gonna go into isolation. But remember, love reptiles, <laughs> especially especially snakes, my favorite. And until next time, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day.